because you made it, we can't lose. The city of New York for the past 25, 30 years has been working overtime to divide our communities to favor developers all in all the five boroughs. On Jerome Avenue, they took the, the car workers and they got them involved and they compromised. And today, those people are losing li their licenses, their livelihood, their jobs. This is supposed to be a progressive city. The city of New York is supposed to be led by a leader for all the communities. And today, the leadership and the 51 city council members have been selling us out. Uh, corruption. All of us are being sold out. It's not Chinatown, the Lower East Side. It's Williamsburg. It's the South Bronx. It's East Harlem. It's Corona, Queens. It's the workers of Willis, Willis Point, the Queens. If you know the history of Willis Point, you had a group of minority workers, folks from Central and South America, who came here chasing the American dream. And what did the city of New York do to them? They, them them, they sold, sold them, them out, kicked them out, and said they were not worthy to sit and work in this city. It's disgusting, but de Blasio, I mean, let's call them out. Alicia Glenn is a holdover from the Bloomberg administration. Goldman right. Sachs, Goldman Sachs, Goldman Sachs, Wall Street. We are supposed to have an economic base that works for the community. Let me go back a little further back. I don't know if you guys are old enough to remember. There was a guy who should have been arrested back in the day. His name, his name was Robert Moses. <laughs> yes! This guy was the developer of the city of New York, their favorite developer. This man created a policy that says, if your community is in the way of my developer, I tell my political friend that this is a blighted community. A blighted community means that the city will no longer use the uh, infrastructure to keep these communities alive. So it's a racist policy. The city of New York has been using this for over 40 or 50 years. They're destroying our neighborhoods. There's a difference between a slum and a blighted community. We live in communities that have businesses that are thriving every day. We are not in slums. For the city of New York to take our communities and just hand them over to developers in the name of, of, of progress, it's a lie, it's a sellout, and the 51 city council members who talk and shake your hands and send you those birthday cards every month are selling you out. They're selling you out. The Blasio promised a tale of two cities. He said that he was going to bring change to the city of New York. What he's doing, yeah, he's changing New York on the benefit of his developer donor friends. Sell out! Because we don't have any money. But let, let me see. We are working class folks. We are not in slums. We are thriving communities. We have stake in our communities. And we're going to fight this. We already proven that these guys are lying through their ass. Yes. The city of New York, the leadership, the so-called progressive leadership, has been lying to us, and the son of a bitch got reelected too. Okay. All right. So we have to identify these sellouts. The politicians are here. Goodness, what we, we will turn to do, because we already identified that they are lying through their teeth. Keep this out of the elected officials' hands. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on today is part of the city structure. But the elected officials, what happens here, will remember and will identify who the players are today. The Blasio, the borough president, and let's, let's name a few. On Jerome Avenue, it was Vanessa Gibson, Fernando Cabrera. If you were in Queens, Willis Point, it was Hiram, Monserrate, and Julissa Ferreira. In East Harlem, it was the former city council speaker, Melissa Mark Viverito. You understand? These are people of color. Back in the day, we fought. We fought so that people of color could represent us. And they turn around, they sell us out. All right? If you go to Brooklyn, you got the gumbos, you got the menchakas selling us out. Today, we're, we're saying today we're going to take a stand. The lies have to stop. The bump stops here.
De Blasio, we're going to put all these uh, elected officials on notice. When you, lie to, when you lie to us, they're going to remember who you are. And, and they, in Washington, I, meant, I, I forgot to mention Washington Heights, because our organization, the South Cross Community Congress, was there in solidarity with the members of the Northern Manhattan Not For Sale. We occupied uh, Councilman Udonis Rodriguez's office in hopes that he would say no. After he sold us out and said, I work with you. I've been in struggle with you. I'm one of you. Yeah, but one of us sold us out. So in solidarity, I mean, let's stick together. Let's hope that this continues. And we keep, uh, as this continues, because this does not end here. That's this right. Not end here. Yeah. These elected officials, like I said, we got to put them on notice. The folks who are inside who are going to vote, we need to put them on notice too, because whatever they do, Today, they're going to have to live with it for the rest of their lives. In solidarity, peace and blessings. No sales, no compromise, no sales, no compromise, no sales, no compromise, no sales, no compromise. So we're going to wrap this up in a little bit. Uh, the hearing is about to start in a few minutes upstairs, and we want everybody to have a chance to speak. And let, oh sorry, downstairs. So we want everybody to have a chance to speak, to let the city know exactly what they're gonna do, which is break the law. So, one more time. No towers! No towers! No 